Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson and I'm here once again in our super secret test location in the southwest of England. So today I want to talk to you about a pick company from Iran. Now Iran's probably not the first uh, country that comes into your mind when you think about plek triers and that is the term for a pick maker. But uh, I have been sent this unbelievable thing by Immortal Instruments. I have a picture of it here and uh, what we've got inside this what we've got inside this is four different picks and I'm going to be testing one of them for you today so inside this beautiful um, wooden box I've got two picks in acrylic uh, one three mil and one one and a half mil a steel one with heavy repping uh, embossed in front of it that's pretty cool and this amazing stone effort, uh, which is the thickest stone pick I've had to date. Now I'm going to put photographs of these up in these locations, so you'll be able to have a closer look at them. But the one we're really interested in today is this. This is the Revolution. Uh, now this is a 3 mil acrylic pick and it's got a really, really sharp uh, bevel on it. It's quite a graceful piece of kit. Now I've tested a lot of acrylic picks in my time. I've got most of what V picks and Gravity make, um, not to mention Savage Customs and uh, a number of others, but uh, I'm very, very impressed with this. So although I'm going to be doing a full review of all of these uh, plectrums, which were very kindly sent to me, um, I am going to be testing this one today. So what we're going to do is fire it through the stick the pedal board and the WEM, and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of improv, clean and dirty, and show you just what this pick is capable of. Let's go. So, uh, one thing that I would take away from this is that um, this pick, compared to a lot of other acrylics that I've used, feels pretty good, feels pretty tough. The thing that I would comment on, particularly, is the fact that acrylic is extremely prone to chirping. Now obviously if you are watching this channel you probably know what chirping is, but for those of you who don't know, it is the slightly squeaky sound that you get, particularly when you hit the plain strings uh, with certain plectrums. Now, if you have particularly large bevels on a pick, like for example, this is a Gravity Trip 4mm. Um, it's got really rounded bevels here. Now, that high, that high surface area uh, means that there's a lot of contact with the string, and because it's really polished, you get that sort of sound. Um, however, that does hap that happens with all materials to a certain extent, it's just whether or not it's more or less pronounced. Acrylic is particularly bad for it, but I will say that uh, the Revolution was very good in that respect. That's partly because um, the guys have carved this bevel really, really nicely, so it, it, there's very, very little resistance from the strings. Now, I'm not a particularly shreddy 
player. Um, in fact, I'm not really a shreddy player at all. Uh, but I did find that there is a lot of speed to be had with this. If you're somebody who favors things like the Jazz 3, but you want a little bit more brightness and a little bit more power, this is the heavy ticket. I've always had this thing with picks where whoever it is that's making them, a bit of themselves is kind of lodged in the pick, in the pick's character. And there's a certain sort of uh, knowing quality to this in the sense that it didn't actually spur me to play super fast. When I was playing the clean stuff and letting the chords dwell a lot more, then this felt much more at home. Now, obviously, you might not get the same feeling as that, but uh, it made me feel like I really wanted to enjoy the bloom of each note, and that's quite an important thing. So, if you are interested in collecting some of these and getting your own super fancy box, uh, then I have left a link in the description below and you can check out Immortal Instrument on Instagram. They've got really good communications and everything and uh, I recommend them quite highly. So just remember, if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe uh, to Heavy Repping. And um, I'll be back in due course with some more stuff and more video reviews, top fives and so on. If you want to read any interviews with the makers, or uh, with other people associated with the pick industry, collectors and so on, you can go to heavyrepping.com and check it out. And if there's a pick company that I haven't covered yet, and there are plenty, uh, then please give me a shout at heavyrepping.com or at heavyrepping on Instagram and Facebook, and I will see you guys soon. So just remember, if you don't know what to do, rep hard, rep heavy.